Welcome back grade 9, here we are again with the next video in our series to help you with your research journal. When we left our last video, what we were doing was setting up our template for our research journal. We focused on our key questions, our focus questions, and setting up our key for our annotations, as you can see me hovering over. What we're going to do in this video is we are going to start finding our sources. Now remember, you need to find three sources for each focus question. We have two focus questions. That means you're going to need a total of six sources. I'm not going to find all six for you today. What I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to find and locate a source. And then in the following videos, I'll show you how to analyze and annotate those sources. So the best way to find a source is to hop onto Google, but before we do that, we need to actually know what we're going to answer. Let's have a look at focus question number one. How has the Sony Gaming X platform evolved over time? Now remember, if we scroll down on our task sheet, I'm going to be looking at the online experience, if you remember. So I want to have a look at how the Sony PlayStation online experience has evolved over time. So I'm going to go to my Google Chrome page. I've already preloaded my search up here. And I'm going to hit enter to see what we can find. Now it's important that when you do find the correct source to keep your website information. You'll need that for your reference list later on. So please don't click forwards and backwards taking photos or screenshots without actually saving the address. So let's have a look at the second one here. It's going to take me to a website called Fast Company. We'll just log in. Wonderful. Now while this page loads, what I suggest doing is actually having a look for a key term search. So what you do is you hit Control F on your web page, type in the term you're looking for, and it will actually tell you if what you're looking for is in the text. So I'm going to search for online experience. And as you can see, it's already scrolled me to a page with that on it. So I'm going to just spend the next couple of seconds reading through this. You might want to pause the video and start having a look for your own sources. Now I can tell by just reading the first couple of lines here that this is going to be a fantastic source for me to answer the focus question about how has the PlayStation 4 evolved over time. So what I'm going to do now, you all know how to do a cut and paste. If not, what you need to do is highlight the text. We're going to copy. So right click, hit copy. We're going to take it straight over to our research journal. We're going to scroll down to source one and we are going to paste that. Okay, the next thing we need to do is we actually need to give credit to the website that we found it on. So to do that, it's going to take a little bit more time because I would like you to do this for all of your references. What you need to do is on your Word document, I'll just make the screen a little bit bigger for you. On the top toolbar, you'll see a reference tab. Look where I'm hovering now. Please click on that. As you can see, we have a citation sections here and the bibliography section. What we're going to actually do is we're going to start our reference list. We're going to insert a citation now for the website that we just used. We're going to add a new source. For every website or every book you use, you need to add that source. It's going to make it easier later on when we create our reference page. 
So the website, the type of source we're using is actually a website. So let's select that. And as you can see, there's a number of bits of information here. The key information is the author of the text, the name of the web page, and the name of the website. Some of the other information can be a little bit harder to find, but the URL is always the website that you found it on. Okay, so try and fill this out as comprehensively as you can to give your bibliography the most or your reference list the most information possible. So let's quickly go and fill this out. So it's going to take a bit of toing and froing from both pages. So let's scroll to the top. We'll find our author. Okay, so the author's name is Kevin O'Hanessian. So let's go back to our Word document and type that in. Remember to start with the surname. Now the name of the web page is next. So the name of the web page, let's go back and have a look. I believe it's nine minute reads. Yeah, it's a nine minute read lessons learned. So let's go back to our Word document once again. Go. Name of the website. That one's an easy one. I believe it is Fast Company. Yeah, we'll just use that one that's up there. So it's Fast Company. Let's type that in. Now the year. We're going to scroll right down to the bottom of the web page to have a look at this. It'll tell us the last update for this page. So it says down here that it was last updated in 2017. So let's put that in our information. The day and the month aren't too important. What we do need is the URL though. So let's go back. All you need to do is copy the URL. Copy the URL and let's paste it. There we go. Remember the shortcut for paste is Control V. Let's hit OK. So as you can see, it's added the citation down here. Once we get to the end of our assessment task, we can actually go to the feature to add our whole reference list to the bottom of our assessment. But I'll show you a video on that later on. That's all there is to it, Grade 9. We've actually just gone on. We've found one of our sources. The next thing to do is to start our analysis and our annotations on the side. Stay tuned for Video 3 and good luck.